Welcome back, YouTube. Esboss here, back once again to bring you some gameplay footage of Cube World Alpha. Uh, from my understanding, this game has had a pretty long development cycle of about three years, I think, and in that time it's developed quite a following on the internet with its voxel-based graphics and its RPG-type elements uh, in terms of gameplay and all that, and so uh, from the gameplay trailers that the developers have shown, it looked like a lot of fun, so people were really raring to buy this game. And then pretty much out of nowhere, the developers said, oh, well, you know, it's available for purchase on my website, so you can pick it up now for 15 euros. And due to the massive amount of traffic on his website, he had to shut down the servers for a couple days. When that came back online, I checked the website, found that it was available for purchase again, so I picked it up. I think it was 15 euros or $19.37 at the time of me purchasing it. And I wanted to do this sort of first impressions uh, video. I'm going to try to limit myself to about 30 minutes. And without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to be playing this sort of like a, as a blind uh, run through. I haven't really seen any sort of gameplay footage other than, again, what the developers have shown in trailers. And it looks like we are greeted with a new character screen, so we're going to create a new character. And let's say we're going to make a character here. I will... let's see what options do we have. We have human, elf, dwarf. Orc, Goblin, Lizard, and Undead, and Frogman. Oh, that's fun. Kind of looks like Slippy. Uh, let's do an Elf. We'll keep that male. Let's see, what terms of, or what kind of classes do we have? We have Warrior, Ranger, Mage, Rogue, and that's it. Okay. I always enjoy playing the Mage character, and so let's do that. Uh, Face. We have Face 1, Face 2, so it looks like it's changing the eye color. Face 3, Face 4, Face 5. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Face one again. Okay, uh, let's do face three since I have green eyes in real life, and I'm gonna try and emulate myself in this character because I'm because uh, I'm super cool. Uh, haircut. Let's see. We got one, two, three. Kind of slick back. Four. Shorter haircut here. Haircut five, six, seven, eight. That's kind of spiky. Uh, haircut nine. Let's say it's gonna be tough for me to choose. They're so, they're so appealing to me. Uh, let's see. What was the one that I liked? Let's go with uh. Yeah, that looks fine. Hair color. Let's try and do a color that sort of looks similar to mine in real life. Or not. Let's go with something wild and crazy. Like brown. That sounds pretty crazy to me. Uh, maybe a little bit more brown. That looks, well, might as well do something normal. Okay, and I guess that's it. So, do I press this? Oh, enter in a name. Let's call him S-Boss, because my creativity is undying. Create character. Let's make a new world. Seed must be a number. Oh, um, one. Sounds cool to me. Name. Um, I'll call it S Bosses World. That sounds good to me. Create world. And we're blasted off. Oh, here we go. Okay. And so this is what the world looks like. We're at the lands of Angar. Okay, use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. You can. Oh, you can go first person too. That's pretty neat. I didn't know that. Okay. And so, like I said, this is a, a cube voxel-based RPG. Some people are calling it a Minecraft clone, but there have been voxel games that have been around long before Minecraft has been released, and even then Minecraft was sort of a copy of, what was it called, Infiniminer or something like that. But anyway, how do we interact with this turtle? Let's press E, F, what does F do? F does a lantern. Space does jump. Q, I'm drinking a potion, which I didn't mean to do. I just, oh, yeah, Q drinks a potion. Um, how do I talk? Oh, I okay. So left click casts a spell. Like that. Okay. What's right click? Fire vortex. Ah, oh, I killed the turtle. Did I? No. Oh, shoot. It's attacking me now. Let's cast a vortex. Oh, snap. I did not mean to hit that turtle in the first place, and now he's attacking me, and I feel really bad about it. Okay. Oh, God. I don't even know if I can kill this turtle. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that at all. I'm ruining everything now. 
I have some sort of fire aura around me. I don't know what any of this is. What is this? Press R to examine it. I didn't even mean to hit the turtle and now he's chasing me. Let's see if I can run away. Okay, so you don't need to jump. Kind of does it on its own. Will he stop chasing me ever? It kind of give us a, an excuse to explore, I guess. Is there a button to apologize to him? I, oh. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Oh, he did stop. Okay, let's examine this. There's nothing special. Maybe R is what we do to talk to him. No, R does nothing. Shift is sort of a walk. Let's look at the controls, if I can. Um... Oh, the map. Okay. So, from what I was told, when you sort of go to the edges of the map, these little cubes sort of uh, lower, and then it reveals more of the map. I notice there's something over here. I assume that's a village or something that looks like a village. Over there must be a dungeon, which sounds really awesome as well. Another dungeon. Dungeon way off in the distance. Ooh. And again, another dungeon. Um, okay. So where should we go? Let's press M to go to the map again. I guess we should go to this village over here. Can we set a waypoint? No. But let's go that way. That sounds good to me. The world looks pretty nice. Very colorful so far. Yeah. Uh, from the gameplay trailers when they were showing that it was like a voxel based RPG, people were just going crazy over it because it just looked like so much fun. And uh, the whole character creation system. I uh, hear you can make your own weapons. That looks pretty cool too. But yeah, we're gonna go this way for a while. Across the river. Oh, that thing's attacking me, I think. I hear a whole bunch of noises. I don't know what's going on, to be honest. Can't go up there. Can I attack him? Man, I'm not very strong, am I? Well, that's doing some damage. Can I kill him? Oh, I did. Awesome. What do I pick up? A radish slice? How do I pick it up? E! Press E to pick stuff up. Good to know. I was hoping there'd kind of be of a uh, some sort of tutorial. Uh, but that's okay. You can laugh at my shortcomings and we'll all have a good time. But let's see how close I am. To Ang oh, I'm going to Angar City. Well, I'm getting there. It's kind of close. Oh, I see people over there or a village. Let's explore this. Yeah, I'm probably going to have a lot of fun with this game. We have an inn. We have some gardens. The craziest scarecrow I've ever seen. Can I collect this stuff? Oh, I can. I can steal their crops. What was I able to examine? <laughs> Nothing special. Good to know. Let's go uh, inside here. Okay. Who's this? Human. Do you know what horses like to eat? Candied apples, of course! Of course. Have you found leftovers? You should visit the identifier. I don't know who that is. But now I'm in Angar City, I assume. Yep. I'll just keep going this way then. Head over to Angar City. There's a cat right there. It's pretty neat so far. I really like how the way that the world looks. What are these? I guess if you want to practice your spells, you can attack these things. Yeah. That's cool. Cast spells. That's fun. Okay. Who's this? It's Benman. I would love to have a horse pet. Okay. I think we all would. Benman. Uh, Migram. That's the nicest thing anybody said to me in this entire game so far. Terrier, can you say something nicer? No, you can't. You're boring. So right now the bar is set f in terms of niceness with that guy Migram over there. Let's talk to Alessander. <laughs> My climbing skill is 285. I'm probably the best climber in the cube world, which I hear is infinite, and so statistically speaking, that's probably impossible. 
to be the best. Because it's probably going to be somebody better than you if the world is infinitely large. Let's talk to Wolf Call. Oh. He's a trader, I assume. You can buy equipment from this guy. So what kind of stuff do we have? Uh, I have a power of one. I'm a level one mage. A fire mage. I have 205 hit points. My armor is two. I assume that's resistance or resilience. That's two. My crit is 4.4%. Tempo is 102.5. Not sure what tempo is. Reg is 100. Armor or weapon rating, armor rating. I have no armor. Okay. Okay, so C brings up. That's because I was curious. Um, I guess what I'm equipped with. I have chest armor, some shabby silk, no amulets. I have ginseng soup and pineapple slice. I have a life potion and a couple different items in my inventory. That's cool. Let's exit from that. Uh, that's the inn. Where do I want to go now? Um, let's see. I wonder if there's anything of interest over in this region. I noticed that there are just a couple really large hills and mountains. It looks kind of cool, but it seems this is a pretty populated city. I guess we could just keep exploring. This is a, I don't know, a market. They look like zombies. Let's talk to Angram. No, you probably don't, because I'm new. My favorite sport is hang gliding. That's cool. Oh no, I did hear that you could hang glide in this game. That's pretty awesome. This person's saving money to buy a boat. Verana, have you already explored Therok Palace? No, I'm level one. Look, I've marked... Oh, thank you. Where is it? Oh, Therok, Pal Therok Palace is way off in the distance, so it looks like I'm not going to be going there anytime soon, but it looks like the v dungeon is not that far away, because if the village is only this big, that's probably not... I don't know. It's maybe a m half a mile away. We're going to find out, because we're going to go there together, whether you like it or not, so let's go! Am I going the right way? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, cool. But what else do we have in this town here? This looks to be a potion. Is this a potion shop? What do you want? That person loves to sail. Nah, this person doesn't have much. Or is that my equipment? Oh, this is her equipment. Duh. Wow, she has a lot of... What is that? Wands and stuff? This must be a magic shop. I'm going to be talking to you again, Garrick. Or... Jarek. I don't know how to pronounce your name. You're f foreign sounding. What is this place? Another potion shop? Ugh. The camera is kind of weird, but it is an alpha, so I guess that's excusable right now. Full price. Or I didn't pay full price and all that, so. I'll let it slide for now. At least until it's in beta. Which, I mean, I have no idea when it's going to be in beta. Also, I hear the traffic that the website is experiencing is still large enough to merit shutting down the servers for a short amount of time because my friend has been trying to buy it, but whenever he signs on to Picroma's website, they shut down the servers and so he can't buy it. And he's been loving this game, or he's been like wanting to purchase this game longer than I have, so I kind of feel bad for him that I bought it before he did. But that's okay. Uh, what do we got in here? A chest that I can apparently open. Let's say We're still gonna make our way to the dungeon. That's our primary objective at this point. Let's say. I'm probably not even gonna make it to that 30 minute limit. I'm probably gonna exceed that by like... I don't know. An hour? We'll find out. I'll have to split this into multiple sections. We'll find out. Somebody's screaming at me upstairs. Of course. I'll have to cut that out. But anyway, let's go to that dungeon. So how was your day? Uh-huh. That's not very funny. I'm trying to pass the time by starting a conversation with you, but that's not working very much, is it? Uh, some really big mountains off over there. That's pretty cool. What was that? Mushroom. Let's collect it anyway. I mean... Maybe I'll make a soup out of it. I don't know. There's a fire. Does that mean I'm getting close to the dungeon? I have no idea. They don't tell you much. Oh, we can sleep here. Okay. I assume that passes the in-game time. Yeah, it does. So right now it's 11.03. 
Oh, I noticed they give you a temperature of 23 degrees C and the humidity as well, which is kind of cool. Defeat the ruler in Ikoria Mountains. Is that where I am? Yeah, I'm in the Ikoria Mountains. Cool. Now I'm going to get into some action. I hope. Who are these people? Frogman. Oh, shut up. Oh, there's a mage, too. Get out of here. Ugh. Let's cast the Vortex spell. Ah! Oh, holy cow, I died. Let's revive. Oh, shh. Let's see revive over there. The skeletons. I am not going to do very well here. Let's try to run away from these guys. Cast the Vortex spell. Oh, I'm going to die really quickly here. Yeah. <laughs> these guys are out of my league. This bird with long legs is chasing after me. What is it called? It didn't say... Fr oh, it said plane runner. Okay. Let's try to escape this guy. I'm not really sure where to go. I want to entertain you guys, but... It's proving to be difficult for me. There's a crow. Let's see if I can kill him, at least. some flame spells at him. Maybe Mage wasn't the best class to pick for such a low level. Okay, so he's dead. And he disintegrates. He didn't drop anything. Okay. I am not going to go to the Aquarium Mountains right now. I need to level up my character first. So let's head back to... Well, at least I'm going to head back to Village. I don't know if I'll record much longer, but... Still cool. Oh. Oh. Neat. You can run even when the map is selected. That's pretty. That's 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 pretty cool. Okay. I like. Oh shoot. Maybe it's not the best idea though. Oh, I died again. We can kill some cows, right? I can't even kill some cows. Oh, the. What are they called? The Sion. Nobble killing him for me. Oh, I died again. This is tougher than I thought, actually. Yeah. Okay. So. I'm not sure what to do at this point, then. We can look at the fun landscapes. Look at that. It's a pretty game. I like the colors. So that's pretty cool. I like how the map rotates with you. It's pretty fun. Anyway. Can you take fall damage? I don't know. I'll leave that as a maybe for the time being. I guess not. Can we at least kill an orc? <coughs> I don't even know. Let's see. Oh, I'm poisoned. Oh, can I do it? I did! What did he drop? 29 copper coins. That's pretty cool. Okay. Well, what else is there to do here? Talk to this guy. Another respawn point. <laughs> Nothing of importance here, though. There's a fly. Can I kill him? Oh, oh! Did it. Nice. Let's try to avoid these flies because I'm at half health. It's pretty cool so far. I'll just have to explore some more. If I ever want to record more of this game, I'll have to find something fun. Maybe record a dungeon when I'm a higher level. But, as it stands, this is just going to be an introduction video to see how it plays as an alpha. I know that there are tons of other videos out there, but, you know... In case one of my subscribers wanted to see what it would be like if I played Cube World, let's just go to Scrub. He was a scrub. Grab a cobweb. Or two. Let's do it. Grab another one. Oh. Oh, there it is. I keep forgetting to, keep forgetting to press E and not R. Anyway. Uh, let's see. I'm going to make it back to the village and I guess we'll call it a day. I have no idea how long this video is. Hopefully it's within the 30 minute limit. Oh, let's go in the cave. 
press F to do my lantern thing. And I'm back to Angar City. So, that, ladies and gentlemen, is what you can expect when you play Cube World Alpha. Although, I think the world is randomly generated, so your experience probably won't be the same as mine. It might be kind of similar, you might spawn in a forest, but who knows, maybe the village will be closer. Maybe you'll spawn in a village, I have no idea. So, I'm probably going to call it quits here, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'm not going to bombard you guys with stupid shit comments, like rate, comment, whatever. If you want to do that, uh, it's up to you, whatever. All I do is record gameplay footage, but thanks again for watching, guys, and if I decide to record more gameplay footage, I guess I'll see you back in Cube World next time.